Now this is very dangerous. If anyone at home is of a nervous disposition, I have to warn you, this can go wrong. Good morning everyone, how are you doing? It's Paul here from Unusual Things. Just make sure the microphone is on. Yes, it is, but it's a bit windy. Uh, I'm at Chilton's Crematorium today in Buckinghamshire. Quite a nice view behind me. Chucking it down with rain just for a change, you know. Wintry England. What else can you expect, eh? Uh, today we've come to find the memorial plaque of Paul Daniels. Do you remember him? It's magic. <laughs> or say yes, Paul. You can say that. Say yes, Paul. Uh, anyway, um, we've come today to find the memorial plaque of Paul. Uh, I promise you I will not do any more impersonations. I won't bore you with that or put you through that hardship in life. Uh, if you like the video today, please give it a little thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, maybe subscribe to the channel and hit that notifications bell. I don't know where this is going. We're back to the old routine, aren't we? Technical stuff having a mind of its own when I try to operate it. And um, yeah, leave me your comments as well. Did you ever meet Paul Daniels? Have you ever seen him do a magic show or anything like that at all? Did you used to like watching his TV shows? Um, anything, anything that's of any relevance at all, uh, leave the information down below. And I will tell you now a bit more about Paul Daniels. Newton Edward Daniels, 6th of April, 1938 to the 17th of March, 2016. Known professionally as Paul Daniels, was an English magician and television presenter. He achieved international fame through his television series The Paul Daniels Magic Show, which ran on the BBC from 1979 to 1994. Newton Edward Daniels was born on the 6th of April 1938 in the South Bank area of Middlesbrough, the son of Handel Newton, Huey Daniels and Nancy Nee Lloyd. He was of Welsh descent his father was a cinema projectionist at the Hippodrome Theatre and a worker for ICI in Wilton, North Riding of Yorkshire. After completing his education at Sir William Turner's Grammar School in Cotham and holding his first job as a junior clerk in the Treasurer's Office of Eston Council, Daniel served as a conscript in the 1st Battalion Green Howards during his national service. He was posted to the British garrison in Hong Kong before training as an accountant in local government. Daniel's interest in magic began at the age of 11, when during a holiday he read a book called How to Entertain at Parties. He began performing magic as a hobby, occasionally entertaining at parties and youth clubs, and later doing shows for fellow servicemen during his national service. After returning to civilian life, he continued to develop his magic by performing in clubs in the evenings while working at the grocery business during the day. At one point, he worked with his first wife, Jackie, under the name of the Aldanis, an anagram of Daniels. It was while working the clubs that he developed what would become his long-running catchphrase. You'll like this, not a lot, but you'll like it. He stated that he first came up with the line at a club in Bradford as a way to deal with a heckler. A major turning point in Daniels' career came in 1969 when he was offered a summer season in Newquay in Cornwall he decided to sell his grocery business and try magic as a full-time career. He made his television debut on the long-running talent show Opportunity Knox in 1970 and came second. Television producer Johnny Hamp saw Daniels in that show and later gave him a regular spot on a show compared by Bernard Manning, the Will Tappers and Shunters Social Club for Granada Television. I'm sure we all remember that. In addition to his magic shows, he hosted other television series during the 1980s and 1990s, including three BBC One quiz shows, Odd One Out, Every Second Counts and Wipeout, all of which were based on short-lived American game shows, and the children's television programme Wizbit, also for the BBC, about a magician called Wizbit and a rabbit called Woolly, who lived in Puzzle Lopolis. I think I said that correct. In 1987, he was timekeeper in the charity television special, The Grand Knockout Tournament. Also in 1987, Daniels hosted a controversial Halloween Live special of his magic show, which he replicated a Harry Houdini escape from an Iron Maiden.
Ladies and gentlemen, please leave the room in an orderly fashion. The trick was deliberately staged to give the illusion that the escape had gone tragically wrong and Daniels had been killed. It was later broadcast that he had successfully escaped from the device. He was the subject of This Is Your Life in 1988 when he was surprised by Michael Aspel. Daniels and Debbie McGee were the, fo were the focus of one of the episodes of the 2001 BBC documentary series When Louis Met, presented by Louis Theroux with Daniels additionally appearing on the Ali G show in an Ali G costume and was interviewed by Caroline Ahern in her guise as Mrs Merton. In 2004, Daniels and McGee appeared in the Channel 5 TV reality show The Farm and in 2006 they appeared in the ITV show The X Factor Battle for the Stars. They were the first act voted off the show after singing Let Me Entertain You by Robbie Williams. Daniels and McGee also made a guest appearance in the Wife Swap series in early 2007, with McGee changing places with journalist and presenter Vanessa Fouts. Daniels married his second wife, long-time assistant Debbie McGee, on the 2nd of April 1988 in Buckinghamshire. The couple met in London in May 1979 during rehearsals for Daniels' summer season show in Great Yarmouth that year. When they married, he was 50 years old and she was 29. McGee went on to work with Daniels in his 1980 summer show in Bournemouth and then his London stage show It's Magic before being offered the role of assistant in his long-running television series. Their relationship gradually became more established and he proposed in 1987. Early in their marriage, they lived in a house in Denham that once belonged to Roger Moore. In 1998, they moved to a house on the banks of the River Thames in Wargrave, Berkshire. On the 20th of February 2016, Daniels had a fall and was taken to hospital where he was treated by medical staff suspected pernicious anemia. I think I've said that correct. However, it was later discovered that he had an incurable brain tumour. He died less than a month later on the 17th of March at the age of 77. Tributes included one from fellow magician Dynamo. Paul was truly a giant of the entertainment world who really defined magic for over 20 years. He said as a working class magician from the north, he was personally a huge inspiration for me and I know that he inspired countless magicians around the world and will forever be known as one of the all time greats. So there's all the information there on Paul Daniels. Now, I'm sorry I look like something out of ET or E17 on the Stay Another Day video, but it started to rain. So I will just continue now to look for his memorial plaque. The things I do for YouTube. Great, isn't it? It's a nice walk anyway, fresh air. Get my legs moving. I've been sat in the car for a long time. <laughs> Okay, so back again. Um, I've just been into the office because when I called beforehand, I was told he did have a plaque. I'm a little bit wonky, hold on. Hi everyone. Right, so there was two things that went on with that um, visit to go and see Paul Daniels uh, memorial plaque. One was that the day before I called and was told there was one there. However, when I arrived, and done all my spiel and looked around, I then went into the office and was told there wasn't one there. So it wasn't a wasted journey because we got to see where Paul was cremated. However, I'm a bit disappointed that the day before I was told there was one. Subsequently, when I actually arrived there, like I say, it's a long drive, um, to be told that there wasn't one. And at the end, my camera was having a bit of a wobbly as well. So I don't know that as Paul playing magic tricks on me, who knows? Uh, but it just, you know, his plaque disappeared and then the camera went a bit wobbly. So that's why I'm coming on the end here just to let you know what happens there. But it happens sometimes. We know that with past videos. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video today. The most important part is that we got to see where Paul Daniels was cremated. And of course, we got to hear about his life story and what an amazing man he was. And I know, obviously, I can't touch a memorial plaque for Paul. So, um... I don't have anything to do with magic, so I can't, <laughs> I can't pay my respects that way. Oh yeah, yeah, look, there's a top hat on the skeleton there. So magicians always pull a rabbit out of a hat. So Paul Daniels, 
Thank you. Uh, thank you for being an amazing entertainer over the years. All of us people of a certain age grew up watching you on TV. And thank you to you, the viewers, for watching as always and being supportive. If you like the video, give it a little thumbs up. And I will see you all on the next one. Take it easy. Bye-bye.